Hello, it's Bob from Boston, Massachusetts. This is the 63rd week on the diet. It's August uh, 16th, 2015. I do the video in two parts. The first through short reading to see how my speaking is going. And the second, I talk about the events last week. Here's my reading. <clears throat> There is never a fee or eligibility requirement. One call is all it takes. Staff are available during normal business hours from Monday to Friday. After hours appointments are available as needed. All service and staff conversations are confidential. Okay, that was my reading and uh I'm I'm giddy today because I just had another record walk performance. I did my walk this morning in six minutes fourteen seconds, which is a record for me. So I'm very happy about that. Um, this is the fifth good, really really good week I've had in a row. So I'm in fact I'm so happy that. It's tough to get to sleep because I want to wake up in the morning and do my walk and see how I progress. So uh, that's, I'm like, I can't explain it. It's really, this side has been such a bitch, but lately the last five weeks have been gone really well. Um, so that was, I guess, the two really good things happened. The first, my walking time has improved. And that's because my right leg, I can feel it. My right leg is getting better. At first, it felt like a, like a tree trunk. And then as I progress, the right leg is getting more and more normal. I'm not there yet. I mean, that's a long way to go, but much better than when I started. In April, I couldn't walk at all. And then just a month ago, I used to take 12, 13 minutes. And this morning, I did it in 6, 14, I think it was. I guess you'll see in the title of the video that yesterday I did it in 7, 59. I don't know what happened that day because my, really my leg just gave out. And uh, it was for some reason... I guess I must can do this. You never really know how you're gonna feel any given second. So, um, but anyway, the long term is positive, very positive. That's the first good news in my walking. The second thing was uh, in over the last four weeks or so, I reported that I started having very shaky hands. That's always been true of my right hand, but even my left hand was becoming a problem and things like uh, typing on the keyboard was becoming very difficult. I had to develop certain ways of typing. Pouring drinks was difficult because my hands were so shaky. But then the good news is this week, started having some less shaky hands. I can now type a little bit better and I can pour uh, better. And also, like there's a TV remote that I have, which I couldn't, it always just frustrated me because I couldn't use it. But I find that I'm able to use it a little better than before. So, and I think I've gotten to the prob the bottom of the problem. The problem was I was eating chocolate, dark chocolate unsweetened. I was researching this on Wikipedia, and it turns out that dark chocolate has a lot of what they call theobromine, which could they say if you eat too much of it, well, officially, it's not lethal or harmful to humans, but they do report that there have been people who reported tremors. I think and it, it's worse in dark chocolate than it is in milk chocolate. So, And I've been eating dark.
of chocolate. This is the problem. And it was at the same time as my hand was getting less shaky. So I think the overall mind was the reason for this. And so it makes it a little bit easier for me to know what is behind it. Because now, I, if I do eat dark chocolate, it can only eat very little. Like, uh, not even an ounce. I was eating like two ounces a week. That's probably too much. And so, I, if I eat it all, it will be very short. Very small amount. Um, just, uh, you know, break up the tedium a little bit. And, uh, so I guess that, oh, one thing I wanted to say was, um, from now on, I'm only going to post in the title, the average time. I'm running out of letters for other topics, you know, in the title of the video. The other thing was, it looks like the normal, a normal person can do a one lap in about a minute. So I feel, and I know that because my nurse tried it. She did one lap with my walker and it took her 59 seconds. So I figure five laps should take me about five minutes. Today I did it in 6.14, so I'm getting close. Once I approach that five minute mark and I feel better, I think from then on, I'm going to just increase the laps. And I figure at about 10, 11 laps is when I'll be able to get out of this apartment and catch a cab by myself or get on the bus and uh, go shopping for myself. So that's my plan. Um, I guess that's it then. I, that, so, and the, also importantly, my mood about this diet has greatly increased because uh, I just can't believe what's happening. The last five weeks have been amazing. So, uh, I guess that's it, and uh, I'll see you next week. Today is the last day of the 63rd week on the diet. Tomorrow will be the first day of the 64th week. And I'll see you next Sunday for uh, what happened that week. Bye-bye.